Hello, all you imps, pixies, and other fine faith folk. It is me, the Hobby Hobbit. This is a channel where we like to play with different kinds of arts and crafts and things, but we are master of none. To those of you who have just wandered across my channel, hi. I would love it if you consider giving me a like, a thumbs up, and a subscribe. It helps my baby channel grow. To those of you who have already subscribed and are coming back, hi. How are you? How you doing? Welcome back. Right, let's get on to our little shout outs and informants here. This is from the lovely Melissa Sue. She does these. It takes her about three hours. Uh, she sells them for just $10. I'll put her description or her information in my description box. Um, additionally, we want to get Miss uh, Rhonda at Junk Journal Diva. Uh, let's get that to focus. Junk Journal Diva. There we go. Um, we're trying to get her up to 500. Please go over there and give her a little hobbit love. <clears throat> Regina and Practical Ideas and Tips. She's got a baby channel as well. We're trying to get her some followers. This is the lovely Melissa Sue. And then last but certainly not least, June has a shop on Etsy, Vintage Paper by Design. She does some lovely, lovely work, you guys. She's the one that sent me that beautiful journal um, that I showed on the channel. She also does these incredible beadwork um, spiders and scorpions they are magnificent ask her about them she's got a beautiful journal she's shown me she just doesn't list everything so if it's something that you think you might be interested in go over there shoot her an email a, a message something so that you can get dibs on it she doesn't list everything she has because she has so so very much um so i took a long weekend because it was a holiday and i just needed some time off so we're back here again. We're going to work on Cinderella today. I know, I know we, we want to get back to the field journal, but I also, I finally got in the chipboard that I wanted for Cinderella so we can work on building the new spine and start working on some of the ephemera and whatnot to this. So I was looking at this and kind of tried to peel it apart a little bit, looking for a signature and it appears to be stapled in. So in this vintage, book i am going to peel back this and we're going to get these staples out of here it looks like there's just two so we're just gonna hopefully not tear our nails apart um, and we're gonna dig in here and get them okay that's A dangerous game for Michelle to play because we all know what a clutch she is. There's one. There's two. There's one. And there's two. Now we can try to start. Yep, there we go. That's what I want. Come on, I just want this little bit out. There we go. Now. Okay, so we have signatures that aren't complete, but we can do something about that. And then we have this book that we're going to disassemble. We're basically going to take this part out and create a new spine. So we need to peel this now. So we can, well, where is it? Is it under this? It's in there. Okay, so I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to, we're just going to very, very gently slice this and, and even it all up. Push this back down. Close that back up because we don't need that part. We just wanted to be able to get those signatures out. don't want to cut into this just realized I had that underneath me I 
That was easy, and that's a nice clean cut. Yep, that's a nice clean cut. Okay, let's get this. I know some of you guys like to keep that spine intact when you do it, but I got other plans for this book. Okay. <clears throat> Now we have front and back, ready to be respined. Yeah. Okay. Now I want to look at this and see how. Okay, so because I've had trouble with these in the past with these books, sometimes they don't always seem to flow properly. I'm going to go through it and number the pages so that I know which goes where. I'm just going to do it real lightly in the corner. One, two, because I can erase it out. Three, four, five. See what I mean? Six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, yeah, that's come across from eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. That feels like a bigger book than they normally are. Okay, so I think I'm going to go ahead and take this bit off too because it's not doing any good. It's not keeping anything together. Let's just go ahead and even this part up as well. I've got an idea, don't worry, for how to reassemble these pages. Since a lot of them are going to be one-sided like this, I've got an idea, don't worry. I've done it in the past with luck. Or with success, rather, not with luck. No, I'm not going to keep that page. Ten, nine, and there we go. Okay, let's put those back where they belong. So 22. I'm trying to think how many signatures I'll end up getting out of this. And you'll notice here we've got the, pa the pages are now bigger because we don't have the book, right? That's okay. We're going to fix that. Okay, so I want to measure this up against this so we can get the height let me put it where I can see it as well as you guys okay I'm thinking actually that's about where I was planning on going for the width of the spine I wanted it to be about an inch to an inch and a half, so let's bring it out just a little bit more. I need like a small ruler, just a little teeny tiny one that I can do this with, where I can see. Why does it feel dark in here? Oh, because I've got the windows, the curtain shut. Okay, so this is the half inch mark. Right there. Yeah, I think an inch and a half is fine will be great. And then let's go ahead and mark an inch and a half down here. Then we're going to line these up.
Now just to make sure that I'm even, I want to make sure in here, an inch and a half. Yep, we're good. Okay, so now that doesn't feel right. That it is. Isn't it? No, it's a little smudge down here at the end. Okay, let's redo this. I went on the outside of the line instead of the inside. Whoops. That's okay. This is why we measure twice and cut once, right? Just make sure that that is one inch and a half. That is, okay. So I wanted exactly to this line. It's a little shy, it looks like, but I think that'll be okay. As long as it's a little shy all the way across. And it looks like it's okay. I'm, I'm okay with that. Why did I do all that measuring when I have this that I can do? I sent the other one back, you guys, and I bought the Tim Holtz one. It will be coming today. little big but at least it's straight so I'm okay with that yeah that's that's a straight puppy right there look at that that is straight yep hmm There we go. Done and done. Let's get that little bit there. It is hot in this house, you guys. This fat girl is sweating and nobody likes to see that. Nope, nope, nope. Nobody wants to see it. Right. Let's put that aside and just hold it. When I'm looking for it, guys, remind me that I put it over there. So this is the most that I can do with this for now, because I have to figure out what kind of material I want in the back. What kind of material I want in the back. Um, I've got some material. i got to dig it down and see, go from there to see. Um... And I gotta see how I want to do the signatures. So for now, it's gonna be a real short video today, but it's a video. I'm gonna put all this back up into my Happy Joy Joy Cinderella bucket. I did finish these up because I know you guys are probably getting sick of saying, "Oh, let's decorate a tag." So we've got Slow Walker, the candy from Life. I um, I never walk backwards. Life is a vulgar flare amid the cool. Oh, I missed one. Clouds in the middle of a circle. Strawberry McDonuts. The best meeting. Distant tenderness. I love you. I'm super sweet. Looking forward to. You have never in the show. I need advice, but not yours. Cute. Only bags under the eyes. I didn't put a word. Oh, yeah, I did. Good. And then it's so comfortable to lie down. <laughs> okay, let's figure out what we're going to be on this one. We'll do this one real quick together, too. Um, how about if we just do that is okay? Uh... 
No advice, no approval, I like it. The whole world? You're mine, you're mine. Uh, life is a short journey from birth to death. Yikes. Let's just dig out our flower flowers. Let's just go ahead and grab a Timmy something or other. Sure. Let's do this one right here. Um, let's do, uh, no, I don't want roses. We did a bunch of roses in our last one. Let's see what we can find in this. This was Amazon, you guys. This is an amazing book. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, I like this one. If I can find the line, there it is. Okay. I like that one. I'm going to stick that right on there for now. Let's get a little bit of music page. Went to um, a used bookstore yesterday with my friend and found a bunch of used books. And this had some, a, a used, excuse me, a music sheet book. So I went ahead and grabbed it because I thought, well, this will be fine for making ephemera instead of tearing up my good music sheets for ephemera. I'll just do this, use these books. I know I have a couple of smaller ones, but I thought, eh, let's get some full-size music sheet pages. So that's what I did. I got some, y'all. Yes. Yes. We can go ahead and... I figured out why I don't have many scraps. Because I tend to use them all with one project. I guess I'm kind of a frugal scrapper. I use them all with one project. Like I pulled this page out and I've used all of these, all of the page essentially on these tags so I don't have any extra scraps of that. And I guess I'm okay with that. I just won't be doing the scrappy challenges that people do. I, it actually pains me to make it scraps, if that makes any sense. Maybe it's because I've seen people and they've got all these scraps in their buckets and I'm like, oh, I'm finding some use for them. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why I'm the way I am. Right. So just to show you this glue, I got this at Michael's. It was something like Create Joy Glue or something like that. Just a real, it was on sale for $3 for a bottle. So I bought three bottles figuring, well, let's try it. And if I like it, then I'll have extras because who knows when or where, when I'll go to Michael's again or if they'll have it. So I decanted some because the tip to that glue was really big and it went everywhere. And then I was stuck cleaning it up. So I've decanted it into one of my small squeezies. And so far I like it. It's not a bad glue. Must admit, do like it. Yeah, I'm not kidding when I say go check out Jean or June's stuff because my goodness, she, those spiders and scorpions are amazing. And I'm not someone who likes that kind of stuff, okay? I really do not like it. But it's so freaking beautiful. My God. These, 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 they're, they're beautiful, you guys. There is a lot of work that goes into them. And they are absolutely gorgeous. And they're massive, too. They're not like little, they're massive. It's like the size of your hand. She makes scorpions and spiders. Scorpions and spiders, was there another thing? Oh, and crabs. Like, 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 like crab. 
I, I was absolutely stunned when she showed me the pictures of them. Absolutely stunned. And I also want to say, if you guys want me to shout out your channel, please reach out to me. Let me know, okay? I'm shouting out the three that I regularly shout out because they've reached out to me. We've become friends. I'm not saying you have to become my friend, but just let me know if you'd like a shout out for my baby channel. I'll be happy to do it. Did I already choose a word or thing for this? Um, never trouble trouble. I think we'll just do never, never trouble trouble because like what? What? Did I put that on upside down? I freaking put it on upside down, you guys. What the heck? Why didn't you stop me? Is it gonna come off? Oh, double pins. Now we gotta find a bigger one that we can put on there. That's okay, watch what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm going to do about that. Darn it. That was upside down. How do we feel about blue? Am I blue? Am I blue? Yep, I like it. I like it. I have a Jeffy in between my legs. Oh, well, actually, between my feet. He's laying on my feet. Oh, what a sweet little guy. I'm sweating my butt off over here, but that's okay. Have a day in this house. That's just too hot for this fat girl. But mom, bless her, she's all cuddled up in a blanket and robes. A little teeny tiny thing. Never trouble trouble. Right. Okay. So I think we are done with this for now. At least with this part of the ephemera stuff. Um, and we've got the, we've got the idea for our spine now. We've got it cut and ready to go. Um, I just need to do the binding tape, which I do have. I've never used it before. So we have to do the binding tape, and then we have to pick out our material that we're going to use, which I'll have that out and ready to go next time, because I just don't know. We'll, we'll pick it out and... We'll go from there. So until next time, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.